President Biden looking pretty foolish after boasting right before Christmas that he had averted the supply chain crisis. The much predicted uh, crisis didn't occur. Packages are moving. Gifts are being delivered. Shelves are not empty. But try telling that to Americans flooding social media with photos of empty stores and the hashtag bare shelves Biden. It's not just social media. Local news outlets also reporting on how people can't find certain products when they go shopping. And I know Jesse's been having a hell of a time finding moose, uh, <laughs> but we're working on it. Uh, you know, Jesse, only I, I, I'm going to sound like a red meat delivery delivery man, but only a Democrat could create scar scarcity in the most abundant country we've <laughs> ever seen in the history of the world. It only, why does this only happen when there are Democrats? I don't uh, get it. I love red meat. I'm glad you asked me that question, <laughs> Greg. What happened was everybody caught the cron over Christmas, and then they came back to work, got tested, tested positive, and then their boss made them quarantine for five to ten days. And thousands of these people work in food supply and distribution, and that's why you're seeing a lot of empty shelves on the store. And it's creating scarcity. So there's a fear factor because prices are going up. And there's economic anxiety because people can't afford it. And Joe just isn't tethered to that economic anxiety, the rise in the cost of living. And that's why he's getting hammered right now. But I myself have suffered from empty store shelves. We shop where we get the groceries delivered to you know, maximize efficiency. And the woman from the grocery store called me and she said, Mr. Waters, we do not have the bone-in ribeye. Oh, not the bone-in. We only <laughs> have the boneless ribeye. And I said, fine, it's not the same. And then she said, uh, Mr. Waters, we don't have the hickory smoked bacon. We only have the apple wood. Ugh. And I'm like, now I'm getting nervous. And then she <laughs> said, finally, Mr. Waters, we just have run out of the chicken liver pate. <laughs> Are we living in Venezuela? I don't I know. I mean, what are we doing here, people? Jesse, you truly, in this pandemic, you truly are a first responder <laughs> when it comes to gourmet food. And it's because you're there that we learn about these shortages. <laughs> you're, doing, uh, you're doing God's work. Thank you. Uh, you know, Dagan, the problem, you know, Jesse brought up the thing about how Biden is untethered, really, to this anxiety. But he was sold to us as political Xanax, right? We did four years of Trump meth. And we were supposed to all relax now because we got Joe Biden. And it turns out it's not that he's calm. It's that he's untethered to the anxiety. He's oblivious to all the crap that we're going through. And we thought that that would be calming. But it's actually the opposite. And he doesn't even try to hide the fact that he's completely disconnected <laughs> from reality. Well, well, who told him about the high price of meat? Yeah. Yeah. Remember, it was like Mary some fam Marianne. Yeah. Mary Ann. Somebody Ann. told me they Mary couldn't Ann. get the bacon at the store. Um, <laughs> it is a hardship, not an inconvenience for most Americans. And tomorrow morning, we're going to get the consumer price index for yeah. December. It's going to be up 7% uh, year over year, highest wow. in almost 40 years. So the American people already know this. Um, by the way, my, st this, my store shelves in my neighborhood are bare because of thievery and shoplifting, <laughs> not because of supply shortages. <laughs> but I will tell you that Jay Powell, the head of the Federal Reserve, has come out and said, in essence, I paraphrase, I'm not playing your reindeer games anymore, Joey. They're going to start tightening monetary policy. They're not going to be buying any more Treasury debt. See, they've been sopping up more than half the Treasury debt issued by these spendthrift Democrats. They're going to start raising interest rates because inflation is a concern. And they're going to start reducing that, what, $9 trillion balance sheet. It's, he's fighting inflation, Jay Powell, the mm -hmm. head of the Fed. But it's going to get ugly for Joey and company. You know, uh, Geraldo, there's nothing wrong with saying this this too shall pass. But that's not a strategy. That's a comfort. And it, look, it feels like that's Biden's only thing. It's like, well, this will, this will happen and then everything will be fine. But he's not actually helped. The only thing he's passing is gas. <laughs> but the, but <laughs> aside from the flatulence, I think that this too shall pass. <laughs> See? You know, Biden is, Biden is unlucky. He didn't expect the country to be this successful, economically speaking. He didn't expect people recovering from being cooped up 
for a couple of years to want to spend money. Even as prices were going up, people still wanted to buy. Demand is still intense. Uh, and I think that ultimately is a good thing. And uh, unemployment, just 3.9 percent. He should really be singing the virtue of, a, of an economy that's humming. And I think that Powell and the, uh, the Fed guys will control inflation uh, in the next quarter or so. I'm, I'm, I'm not uh, uh, frightened by it. I, I think that bare shelves now will mean abundant shelves in a couple of weeks. What do you say to that, Dana? Well, we should all be so lucky, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know if luck is really what we're hoping for. Uh, I will tell you, I was a victim of the bare shelves. Mm. Um, not so much. Well, but when I didn't feel well over Christmas, my mom said, you need to get chloroseptic spray. And I loved that stuff as a kid when I used to get strep throat. So Peter goes out, goes to all the stores. There's no cold medicine. The only thing that they had for a sore throat was something that, you, like a spray for children. So I got that. And then I ended up passing it on to the Fritz family because Fritz. it's not very good. Yeah. The Fritz. The Fritz. I knew it was going to always get back to the Fritz. But I only have 10 seconds. I, always, I can bring them up. Yeah. You know, I went to the furniture store and you know what I noticed? In the, uh, the, sh the shelves were full of shelves. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> you know, it seemed more interesting in my head before it came out of my mouth, which explains my entire life. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.